Since the Church of St. Martin in the Fields was completed in 1726, the Church has come to play an increasingly important role in the context of the city. In the 18th century, it marked a boundary between poorer parts of the city and the Royal Palace of St. James and Westminster. Then, in the middle of the 19th century, John Nash conceived Trafalgar Square and in so doing, reset the church completely. Suddenly, what was the Royal Muse becomes the key public space of London. And around the church, he makes a series of new interventions, a street called Duncannon Street, Adelaide Street, and to the north, a new range of buildings with the Vicarage, Vestry Hall, and the National Schools Building. Later in the 19th century, the railways arrived with the station at Charing Cross. It was from here, going to and returning from the front, traumatised soldiers were given shelter in the crypt of the church. That work has evolved, and the National Schools building has become now the centre for the connection at St Martin in the Fields, which provides extensive social support for the most vulnerable in the parish. We're going inside to meet some of the people that work there. This is the workspace department, which really means the employment, training and education services. Originally it was an old schoolhouse used for the church school. What we have now is a building that's fit for purpose and the interior of the building allows us to deliver modern services in the 21st century to tackle a very old problem of homelessness. The positive effect that this building has on people is that they come in, they are overwhelmed that such a building would be given over for them and their use and they feel part of that and taking their lives forward. Uh, this is the survey, and here we provide approximately 80,000 meals a year. Uh, we're open seven days a week. We provide breakfast, lunch, and supper. We meet a fairly basic and primary need here with the food. This is the first place that people come to when they come to the day centre. And then they go on to see a member of the teams that they come to see. The most important architectural decision in our adaptation of this north range was to add a new structure about 10 feet wide behind the building. It provides a zone of private space for staff officers and consultations. The art room at St Martin's was originally in this room before the building was developed, but it was much smaller. The art room now has three windows where we used to have just two. You notice very important differences when people come in, how they place themselves in the room. Some go straight for the window seats and they tend to be the ones that are shyer, less able to deal with the room, and others will place themselves directly facing into the room. The light complements what we do. It's about people finding their own inspiration. They put something out of their, their heads into the real world. They've overcome their fears of, of expressing what they need to express. And once that happens, then you have a way of engaging with them.